A preliminary hearing is getting underway today for Larry Miliete, the husband of missing Chula Vista mother Maya Miliete. And joining us now to talk more about that hearing and what's expected is Maya's sister and brother-in-law, Mary Chris and Richard Jule. Thank you both so much for being here this morning. Thank you for Thank having you. us again. Thank you. First, before we talk about the preliminary hearing that's starting today, this weekend obviously was a, a big hike in her honor. Um, how did that go? What did you take away from, from the show of support there? You know, um, it felt like fully um, love. We felt the love and the support from the community. You know, it really uplift our spirit that we, after two years, my sister's been missing and we still have so much support from the community. Even the mayor of Chula Vista showed up uh, and um, chief police officer and Roxana Kennedy also showed, showed up. So it really meant a lot for us and uh, a lot of people showed up. So yeah, yeah. You know, it, it does gives us hope and faith. Because you know, yeah. you've, you've really talked about how closure is so important for, for all of you and you just really want the community to continue to support and, and help in the searches when they take place. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah, still a lot of questions there with that. But this is part of this preliminary hearing. Today, a judge is going to decide if it is okay for Larry Miliate's case to go on, for him to be on trial for murder in this case. I know you are testifying today as part of this preliminary hearing. What are you expecting? What are you hoping to, will come out of this? Um, you know, just the truth. You know, that's all we're hoping for, you know, to find out what really happened to my sister and, um, you know, just let us know the truth and um, give us where my sister is. So that's all I'm hoping for. Um, we'll, you know, um, testify the best we can and we're just going to say whatever the truth is whatever happened and um, you know that's all that's all I'm you know hoping for and you do you I mean are you hoping that the the trial is forward that he's that he's uh, charged with murder in this case uh, what what uh, developments or what do you think is is happening based on the evidence that, that you've been given <laughs> I, I don't really know. I mean, t to be honest, you know, I just, I, you know, just the truth, you know, for, you know, whatever happened to my sister and that's, that's all we have. Uh, we don't really have that much um, knowledge or whatever the DA or the police um, evidences that they have, uh, whatever they have it, they put it out in the public. It's what, what that's all we knew uh, as of today, yeah. Yeah, that's unfortunate. A lot of the uh, details are not given to the family in these yeah. cases. They want a, uh, a sealed case. They want a good reason to go to case. To, they want this case to go to trial. Uh, the DA has worked really hard to get all the evidence out there, and um, I think they have a good case. But like the family is, pie, it's just left in, out in the dark. And we, like my wife said, we have a million questions and we don't have any, any, any answers so hopefully this week um, we'll get some of those answers. Yeah, you'll learn more about the case and some yeah. of the evidence that's involved there. Right. I, I know, Mary Chris, you said that uh, one of the reasons you're testifying is because you were the one to notify the authorities. Yes. Um, I, yeah, I, I think so. So, you know, um, again, you know, we can't really I don't really know what's going to be happening today. Yeah. Um, you know, we're just going to go with the DA's, um, wh whatever the proceedings is today. So yeah. we're just, we were just told, you know, we'll be there. Um, but just tell the truth, the best of our knowledge. So, yeah. yeah. And, and you were told this is expected to last about two to three weeks, right? That's what we were told, yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, I know there's a lot of concern for, for the three beautiful children involved, um, and I know you say you, you do have contact with them even though they are staying uh, with Larry Miliate's parents, um, but you do get a chance to, to speak with them and stay in touch with them at least a couple times a month. Yeah, it's, it's a court order. Uh, we do have a visitation with them, so it's like twice a month, and we're so happy we're able to get that you know, yeah. visit with them and be with them. So we're very happy with that. And um, yeah. Well, I know you're you're leaving from here to go to court, and mm -hmm. I just 
to send a lot of love and support with with you all Thank and you so um, hope that uh, you know we can hopefully get some answers out of this and um, and I know you just are asking to to keep Maya's name in the public and to keep uh, the efforts up for her search and we'll continue to support you in that effort as well thank you so much yes yeah. thank you take care thank you thank you all right so still ahead on